Good morning, everybody. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. If you follow me on my other social media platforms, you know I posted a little sticky note this morning as a reminder to keep going. I don't care what it look like, what you may be facing, um, no matter what odds may be coming against you, keep going, keep pushing. We already know that all things are working together for the good of those that love the Lord and are called according to his purpose, that the righteous will not be forsaken, nor will I see be begging bread. So you got to keep going. You got to keep going. Like, it's going to look like, you know, it's going to look like everything is coming against you or it may feel like, dang, I don't know how this is going to work out. I don't understand. But even in yo, even when you don't understand, you got to say, Lord, help me. Lord, I believe. Help my unbelief. Because sometimes we can see things and we be like, I don't know how this is going to work out. And we start to doubt God. But just say, Lord, I believe. Help my unbelief. And keep pushing. And know that God got you. And if he wanted to take you out, honey, or yeah, if he wants to take you out, he would have been took you out a long time ago. So whatever havoc is trying to come up in your life or whatever situation is trying to make you doubt God, you have to tell the devil that he is a liar. Give God his word back. Stand on the word of God. Feed. That's why it's important that you read the word of God so you can stand on the word of God. And when it looks like it's not going to work out or when it looks like there's no way possible or where you don't understand it, you can stand on the word of God and say, Lord, but you said, Lord, but you said the righteous will not be forsaken. And Lord, I know. Not that I've been perfect, but I know that I have been doing everything I can do and I have been obeying what you have told me to do so I know that this is not the end for me no matter what it looks like I know that you have more greater is he that is in me than he is in this world you have to give God his word back and when you stand on the word of God nothing can shake that nothing can shake the word of God everything else gonna fall but the word of God is gonna stand so you have to give God his word back and say Lord I trust you Lord, I trust you. Yeah, it hurt, but Lord, I trust you. Yeah, it looks crazy, but Lord, I trust you. Yeah, I don't see a way out, but Lord, I trust you. I believe that all things are working together for my good. I just believe that. I'm just crazy enough to believe. Although I cannot see it, I am faith walking this thing out, and I believe that you are working everything out for my good. I believe that you will save my family. I believe it in the name of Jesus. I believe. So I love y'all. I'm finna work. But I just wanted to come on here and and encourage y'all today. Because sometimes things may look crazy. But now is not the time to doubt God, okay? Now is not the time to doubt God. Get it to your secret place. Get it to a quiet place with him. If you got to cry out, fall out, all that, do it. But don't give up. But don't give up. Keep going because he got need for you. You know what's crazy? If God didn't have need for you, you wouldn't have made it through half of the stuff that you done had to go through. So since you're still here, since you woke up this morning, that right there lets you know that he has a plan and a purpose for your life. So you need to get up. Wash your face. Get up. Put a smile on your face. Get up. And move forth in Christ. Do what needs to be done. Trust him. Trust him. Trust him. And stop trying to do everything. Trust him. We have to trust God. Even when we can't trace God, we have to trust him. Even when we don't understand, we have to trust him. We have to know that if we are his children and he is our father, just look at the way you treat your own kids. If you have kids, you're not going to let nothing happen to them. You're not going to let nobody just dog them out. You're not going to let that's your child so if we feel like that about our own kids what more God feel about us come on now he feel the same way about us because we are his children and we must come to him like little children saying daddy I need you daddy I need you to heal this area because it hurt daddy I need you to make me whole daddy I need you to restore me I need you to give me understanding because I just can't see how Okay, <laughs> but I trust you even in the midst of this. Y'all be blessed. Y'all be blessed. Y'all be blessed. Y'all be blessed.
Y'all have an amazing day. If you have not already done so, definitely go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Um, all my social media platforms. She Overcomer on Instagram, TikTok, all it. And then Mary Hooks on Facebook, which I don't really be on Facebook like that. I just kind of like repost all my other stuff on my Facebook. But mm, mm, mm. y'all have an amazing day. Goodbye.